Hi, welcome to this video on MS SQL covering the WHERE clause in detail the greater than, less than and equals to conditions. So on screen you can see I've got a basic select against a, a table with almost 18,000 rows. That's a lot of data to return so usually you'll want to add some sort of condition so that it limits the data returned. So this is where we start with the third um, part of our SQL. So select gets what data it is you want to return to screen. From is the table or tables where you want to get the data from. And now we need to add a condition to say, I only want to see this particular set of data. And to do that, we type where. And following the where, we put some sort of logical condition. Um, so let's start with a few examples. Let's start with some text examples. So I've got a column here called FT type. I can type that if I could type. And I can say equals instant. Now, generally speaking, um, SQL isn't case sensitive. You can make SQL case sensitive, that goes in a bit more detail, but databases can be made to be case sensitive, but generally speaking, um, it should be fine to put any text in there in any way you like, um, and it will ignore the case uh, element of it. So that is going to show any records that have a type of instant. And the opposite of that is doesn't equal or not equal to. So if I run that, I do the opposite. So I say, show me everything where the type is not instant. And there's another way of doing that. Um, so if that is equals, you could also write it in this way. And that'll do the same job. Now, when you're dealing with text, you've got to surround the text with a single quote. Otherwise, SQL thinks it's something else, maybe a method or a function. So if I just put instant there, it's trying to find... Here, trying to give me some drop downs here to say, is this what you mean? Is this what you mean? Because I'm, I'm quite unsure. If I try and run that, I'll just get an error because it doesn't know what instant is. So, because it's a string, it's got to be surrounded by a single quotes. Now, if we're dealing with number columns, so let's look at this sum and value column here, we can say equals a number, equals one. And because it's a number, we don't put it in quotes. We could do, that, that's fine, but generally we don't. Um, it's a number and it doesn't need to have quotes around it. So we can say equals or not equals in the same way that we did before. Um, but we can say is greater than one. Or we can say is less than three. So when it comes to numbers, you've got a few different options there with the greater than and less than. And equally, uh, we've got options we can do with the third data type, which was date that we talked about in the previous video. Um, so if we look at our date column here, now dates are quite um, particular because you've got to be very careful with dates because think of uh, American dates and British dates where if we look at this date here, that could be um, the February the 11th, 2018, or it could be the 2nd of November. Um, 2018. So when you're doing some sort of comparison with dates, I find the best way to do it is to say 02, or in fact 2 would do, um, run that. Then there's no way that there can be any kind of confusion. It's the 2nd of November 2018 that I'm interested in. Um, the same with the numbers I can say is greater than, or I can say is less than. And you'll notice when I'm dealing with dates, I put single quotes around it like I do with string. That's the end of this video. I hope you found it helpful.